PDF reading in Nebo has dramatically improved in the last couple of months. We've already reviewed the document and note types of notes in the app. So to complete the review for Nebo in 2023, we're going to focus on what it's like to annotate PDFs in the app. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipak with Paperless X, a channel dedicated to easing your digital transformation. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. We're still using our pen tool. Highlighters. And eraser tools for annotating PDFs in Nebo. The most exciting update is that we can now convert handwritten annotations to text. It was our most requested feature for the 2020 Nebo wishlist, so we're very happy that we can do this. You can then change the color of the text and even resize it. At the moment, we're still limited to converting each annotation. So if you wanted all your annotations in text, you'd have to convert each of them. We tried converting all the annotations on the page and the app clustered them together. So that is not an ideal way to convert annotations at the moment. It's best to keep the annotations in their respective positions on the PDF, at least for now. All things considered though, we can convert annotations to text and we can't wait to see what the developers will add to the feature. We're also looking forward to converting all our annotations when we export our PDFs, like we have for our documents in the app. A situation where you can convert everything at once when exporting it to save us time that we'll spend converting every annotation. Since converting individual annotations is so much work, how about you just type them? It's faster and probably half the work, so it makes sense to type your annotations than it does converting them. Let us know what you think will work better for you, handwriting your annotations and converting them or just typing them. You can style your text annotations, whether converted or typed, to make them bold, underlined, double underlined, strike out, and even highlight them. This type of highlighting would love to see in our PDFs as another option for annotating PDFs in the app. Still, we appreciate the formatting options as they help to make the text stand out. And that is always helpful. Our highlighter still goes in front of our text or whatever you annotate in the app. Sadly though, even with a single layer, you can still see the dimming effect of the highlighter, which is a bit unpleasant to use. So we still hope the developers can move it to the back of our text just to improve our highlighting experience in the app. As we have come to expect, the eraser erases all your annotations, written, converted or typed, as well as the highlighter in your PDF. You also have the option to erase the highlighter only, and that is all you need for a decent eraser tool. 
You can add photos from your photos library. or iPad camera. You can then rotate and resize your images in the app. Image rotation is also available on the infinite canvas, which is your notes in the app. So that was very exciting to see. Finally, we have image rotation, and we look forward to seeing this in the documents as well. You can also draw shapes with your pen tool and watch them transform into perfect shapes. The app supports regular and irregular shapes, arrows and curves are pleasant to draw. Your arrows and curves are the easiest to adjust after you've drawn them. For the rest of the shapes, you are limited to stretching or shrinking them. And we still do not have a fill option for our shapes, so we we'll look forward to having that. Faster navigation is crucial for PDF reading, especially for long documents. That is why we're happy that Nebo can now recognize hyperlinks in our PDFs. We can also skip through the pages if you know the exact page you're looking for. That can be handy. However, practically, it is the least helpful navigation feature because many PDFs have different numbering systems from what the app offers. You hardly ever land on the right page and you never know which direction to scroll to get to where you want to go. It's always unpleasant trying to figure that out. So, we look forward to having a page list of sorts for navigating PDFs in Nebo because not all PDFs have hyperlinks each time we find an app that uses hyperlinks, we can't help but wonder if we can start using our digital notebooks. So naturally, that was the next idea we tried out. Documents take a bit of time to load in the app. We noticed that most of the time when you're working with PDFs in Nebo, they look like scans, low resolution scans, that's because the page is just still loading, especially with hyperlinks because they take a second to open. Are you guys also seeing the short delay when tapping hyperlinks or when scrolling through pages in your PDFs? Let us know. If you like our digital notebooks, we will have a link to them in the description down below. You can purchase them from Spring or from our Patreon page. Another limitation we had in Nebo before was that we couldn't add blank pages between the pages in our PDFs. They fixed that, but we don't have any page options for these new pages that we add, and we don't even have the option to duplicate existing pages. And that means we can't use our digital notebooks in Nebo yet, which is a shame. If you need some extra space to write annotations and you are not particular about what type of page you use, this might work. But the practicality of it, if you're using Nebo as your PDF reader, not very practical because Nebo does not support multiple instances. So if you're going to be taking notes on something that is on the next or on the previous page from where you added your blank page, you have to scroll up and down to write extra notes on a different page. And that is not an ideal way to work. 
We've had multiple instances for years and it's really unacceptable for a note-taking app not to support multiple instances. As much as we're happy about having the extra pages, they might not be that useful if you can't open the same document on the site. You can also move pages up and down. and even delete those you don't want. It would be better if we could see all the pages in our PDFs when moving or deleting them. It just makes it easier to organize all the pages. We are tired of seeing beta features in productivity apps. Not sure why developers are doing this and this habit is spreading like veiled fire. Generative AI in Nebo will help you summarize your notes, give you instant answers to different questions, and help you generate quizzes for your notes. It works on your documents and notes in the app. And let us know if you'd want this to work on your PDFs as well. What bothers us the most is how ChatGPT always warns that AI-generated content may contain inaccurate information. Yet productivity apps keep adding it to their apps. Isn't that counterproductive? We just love that we don't have to log into any apps to use this, but that will probably not stop the AI from indexing your notes if you use it. Enable you get an explanation, or you can choose to chat with the AI, and the AI will recognize your handwriting and answer your questions. And I always prefer handwriting things any day. For these notes, I have already summarized them. They're obviously shorter than what you'd get in a textbook. But now I can get an explanation for them without going back to the textbook. An explanation that might not be accurate. It just feels like going back and forth, but maybe occasionally it might help someone. The quiz is an excellent application that students or anyone trying to learn something can save a lot of time. They would otherwise waste creating flashcards. The app just creates this in seconds. You can have a true or false quiz or a multiple choice one. This is definitely the best AI integration we have seen for a note-taking app so far. Some of the questions had wrong answers. That is something that you need to watch out for. Either the developers will need to work on making the AI more accurate or give us the option to correct incorrect information from the quizzes that the app creates. But in the meantime, you'll just have to do some quick Fact checking with everything in your quiz. You get a score at the end of the quiz to give you an idea of how well you've done. PDF reading in Nebo has improved and we are happy with the progress that the developers have made. However, it still has a lot of work to catch up to industry standards for PDF reading in a note taking app. Quizzes from Generative AI are awesome, and we love them. They've made us realize that perhaps there are some integrations for Generative AI in a note-taking app that can actually improve our lives in exchange for the data it harvests. Let us know what you think about Generative AI in Nebo. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next video.